Happy Thanksgiving friends and welcome back to Bubbly Balloon Co. My name is Rachel and I hope you're ready to get basted because today we are doing a Thanksgiving centerpiece. We're doing a table runner out of a mini balloon garland and a whole bunch of little props and florals and other cute accents I got right here. So let's unpack what I've got here and we'll get started. So these are the balloons I'm gonna be working with today. Now they're all five inch balloons. The main color I'm gonna be working with is this burnt orange from Tough Decks. I've also got um, mustard and sangria from Tough Decks to tie into the other Thanksgiving creation I have on the wall there, as well as the same caramel brown I used from Calisan. So I'm gonna be working with these cuties all in five inches. And like I said, the main bulk of the garland is gonna be that burnt orange, but I'm gonna throw in little pops here and there, almost like color blocking, but slightly less because this is really going to be like a burnt orange mini garland and then I'll have little pockets of the sangria or the mustard or the caramel brown um, just here and there to tie it all together but this orange is really going to be the star of the show. Now I got a pretty decent selection here of like props and florals and things that would really tie this whole thing together and look really good with the table so I'm going to set all these aside until my garland is made and then when we're at the table we're looking at it all together I'll make that final decision on what I'm actually going to use and include and what I can set aside for another project. Now I'm planning on making a mini garland that's something like six to eight feet in length here. Um, depending on how many curves I want to add into it, how I'm going to shape it with all the different props and you know everything I've got going on on that table. So what I'm going to do is lay out all the balloons I think I'm going to need here. I'm going to you know kind of lay them out by color, and then we'll start inflating with my favorite cheap inflator on the market. As always, this little blue uh, blue faithful dude here. Now, as always, I'm going to be inflating in pairs. So I'm going to start with two of these burnt orange balloons here, inflate them together. Now, I do want to get a little bit of variance in size here. I want this to have a little bit of dimension. I am only using this one size of balloon. I could add in some larger ones if I had a little more space. But with the size of the table, how narrow I want this to be, I'm going to just add as much dimension as I can with only five inch balloons. So some will be much smaller, some will be a little bit larger, if that makes any sense, okay? So I'm going to inflate these two at the same time together to a little bit different sizes and we will go ahead and tie those together to make our first pair. And after I press on them to give them that cute round bubbly shape I love, then I'm going to go ahead and tie them together, grabbing one neck over the other wrapping it through and pulling tight to make that first little duplet okay now for this design I'm gonna be working in quads which is sets of four balloons so I'm gonna make a second duplet I'll twist these two together and then repeat that process take my two duplets put the centers together just like that and then twist one balloon from each side just a couple of times to get it nice and secure and that's my first little quad for this creation what I've done here is lay out the quads that are going to have the colors in them so those are ready to go ahead of time. So I've got like three sangria and a burnt orange, three mustard and a burnt orange, three uh, caramel brown and a burnt orange. I've got a couple rows of these three colored balloons with one burnt orange and then I have one row down here of two of the color and two burnt orange. Um, each of these obviously adding up to four so I can just kind of inflate those together and then I can keep my colored quads separated from my orange ones so when it comes time to assemble it's really easy for me to you know kind of pick and choose how I want to put this together. And now we inflate! I will say with my pops of color, I'm going to be keeping those balloons a little bit smaller because I want that orange to be the predominant color. So when I'm working with those together, I'm going to keep those colored ones a little bit smaller in size, keep the orange one a little bit bigger so that I still have that like dominant burnt orange throughout the creation. Okay, now these are all inflated, we can start assembling. Now I would recommend you set aside a couple of quads, maybe a couple of duplets, pairs, even some singles. If you wanna tie those in at the end to kind of bulk it out in certain areas, help with that extra like dimension and reshaping and you know what I mean, really finish it off. So if you have extras, go ahead and set a few aside for the very end. Um, but now what we're gonna do is actually just start tying these together. Now I'm probably gonna make it just a little bit smaller at either end and then leave some of the bulkier um, quads for that center side 
section and I gotta tell you I don't know if you saw the mini garland video already but they're so easy to tie together um, just by the necks of these balloons because they're I don't know five inches are so easy to work with they're so stretchy and you know all the good stuff so I'm just gonna take a neck out of each of these two quads and just tie them together okay and then you can kind of reshape that if you need to it's super easy to work with absolutely love this method okay so now as i go and I'm, I'm honestly just going to kind of pick and choose here on what i think is going to you know a little bit of whimsy here what's going to feel good so i'm going to add in a little pop of color here and there and um, just keep tying this in until we've got a good old six or eight foot garland here Now I know you can't see the close-up on what I'm doing and I'm so sorry for that, but all I'm doing is taking a neck out of each quad here that I'm tying together and then I, I cross it over each other and pull that tight so I have a lot of room to work with. And then just like with any other pair, wrap one neck over the other, push it through the loop and pull that tight and you're all set. This is how we're looking so far. Now, if you're not crazy about tying these quads together, you can also use like a 160 or a 260 fishing line, anything like that, which is what I'm gonna switch to now just to show you how it's done either way. So all I'm gonna do is tie this 160 into my existing garland and do it like one of my most recent quads on the garland. Like that, and then I can start wrapping in new ones as I build it out. Just like that. And when you run out of room on your 160 or 260, you can just go ahead and tie another one on and keep going. At this point, this is what she's looking like, and it is time to head on over to the table, lay this sucker out, go ahead and reshape it, fluff it out, and then add on to it with all those florals and all the other props we got. When I have a lot of possible add-ons for a job, one of my favorite things to do is lay out all of my possible florals and props and whatever things I might be using, lay out the balloons I'll be using, whether it's a completed garland like this, or even just inflate you know, one or two of each color and have those to hand so you can see everything together. So what I'm gonna do now is empty out all the possible props I have today, kind of lay it all out and let like my mind's eye kind of visualize how I want this to go. And then I'm gonna start laying it out and just playing with it, seeing what looks good, trashing what doesn't, and hopefully come up with something cute in the end. Now I've got quite a bit to choose from here. Most of this stuff is from Hobby Lobby. Some things are from the dollar store. I think these mesh things and these like pumpkin picks are from the dollar store. But most of this stuff I did get at Hobby Lobby when it was on sale recently. So I've got like gold glitter mesh garland. I've got a burlap table runner. I've got uh, you know, kind of pumpkin orange table runner here. I've got all sorts of picks and florals and pumpkins and you know, scatter for the table. So I'm gonna start laying everything out seeing what looks good, what really sings to me, and how I wanna do this bottom layer, then the balloons, then any add-ins I wanna use, picks, florals, anything like that, whether to go actually in the garland itself or accent around it. At this point, I've mixed a few items I'm not really feeling today, but I am feeling this burlap table runner underneath my mini garland. And then I'll finish it off with these florals. Now this is something you could kind of size down, keep it really small, keep it really simple, or you could add a lot of detail, a lot of props, and really make that thing as extra as your Friendsgiving or your Thanksgiving's gonna be. In the end, I decided that simpler was better for this centerpiece. We already have a garland on the wall that's pretty extra, so I kept this one a little simple. Now all that's left to do is set the table. Thanks for hanging out with me today. 
And hey, if you end up making a uh, Thanksgiving themed balloon garland of any sort, whether it's a centerpiece, one on the wall, what have you, uh, don't forget to tag me in it on Instagram so I can see. I'll include any links I have for products I used in this video in the description down below. And as always, if you've got questions for me, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're not already and you want to see more of my content. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Happy Thanksgiving, friends.